Hey guys, Jeff with Game Zombie, and I'm here with Damien from BioWare, works at the Old Republic. He's the lead systems designer. Um, you guys are just rolling out the system, the patch 1.2, or the update anyway. What can you tell me about the update? Uh, the patch 1.2 is a monster patch. It's got a lot of good stuff in it. It's got a whole bunch of little features, like target of target, that people have been asking for. Uh, but it's really, you know, it's the big features that make it exciting. So the legacy system uh, is going in, and it, it's going to allow players to unlock all new race class combinations, get new bonuses for their other characters based on what their first characters do, whether or not they max out uh, uh, their companion character affection, whether or not they finish the stories uh, with the other characters. Uh, GUI customization is going in. You'll be able to pretty much fully customize your GUI, move elements around, uh, uh, scale elements up, scale them down, flip them around. Uh, that's cool. Uh, we have uh, uh, some more zone improvements that are going in that are going to be a, a big deal. Have the new operations? Oh yeah, we have. I forgot about the content. We have a new operation, uh, and that operation is uh, called explosive conflict. And what we really wanted to do with this operation is introduce something that was really hard because the first operations we kind of wanted to get people's feet wet and get them used to the idea of grouping with other people in order to take on large challenges. Uh, but these operations that we're introducing now are really meant to sort of test the hardcore guilds and really allow them to prove that they have what it takes. We also have a new war zone coming in that will uh, that's called Denova, and this is pretty much a, a capture and hold sort of scenario uh, that people have been testing on the floor and have been super excited about the entire time. What other kind of content is coming in? Because I'm sure there's lots of smaller things, new items, and that. Sorry. Oh, I mean we have. Uh, huge changes to itemization are, are going in. We're going to be uh, uh, retouching the, the in-game gear. Uh, enormous, just a long list of the crew skills uh, uh, upgrades in order to make crew skills more viable in-game. That's a big deal for us. We feel like we have a really cool approach to crafting, and some of the changes that we've done have allowed that uh, approach to crafting to be viable at in-game. So that's going to excite a lot of people as well. Yeah, definitely. The game, uh, the patch, is that coming live um, soon? When does the patch come live? Tantalizingly soon. I, I like, 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 yeah, really, really soon now. It's, it's maybe in their hands by the time they watch this. So. All right, sounds good. Anything else you want to get out to the fans there about the update? Uh, we, the team is super proud of this patch, uh, and the team, you know, we think that the game has come a long way in this patch, and we are super excited for people to get their hands on it. All right, you heard the man. Hopefully, by the time you're watching this, it's already out. If not, it's coming out soon. Check it out. The game's awesome. Thanks a lot, man. All right, you have a good one. Thanks for watching, guys.